In the last video of this uh, tutorial, I showed you how to create a simple or call a simple uh, dialog box using Xenity from our advanced GUI interface. But let's say we want to call another advanced window. That's what we're going to do with this last button we have here. Uh, we are going to choose that. Let's re-label uh, it as menu. And what we're going to do next is we're just going to create another window by clicking on window here. So you can see that it added another window called window 2 under here. We're going to rename that window menu. And we will add a few buttons to it. We'll add four buttons or four containers at this point. So I chose horizontal box, add it, selected four. We're going to add some buttons to it. Now, if we come back into here and we select our window one again, double click it to bring it up, what we can do for menu is we'll go to signal and for the clicked action, we are going to run our GTK dialog command again, but this time instead of calling a window one, we'll call window two, which we have renamed menu. Uh, I believe it is case sensitive, so let me see. I named it all lowercase, good. Um, I can save this file and run that command from my command line and you can see it brought up that window that we created with the four buttons that don't do anything right now. Um, so we can now take this command, we can copy it, and under our menu button we are going to choose clicked and we will paste in that command but just like when we called Xenity if we don't want it to lock up the rest of our application we're going to add the end sign to the end of it so let me zoom in for you here so you can see a little bit better we added the end sign to the end of that and that just allows our first interface to keep going even though the second interface is open we will hit enter to lock that in save it we will run GTK again but we'll run it again with window one because that's the window we want to open up first. You can see we can press play, you can get info on our song, still change the volume. But now if we click menu, it brings up our new little window that we created. And uh, you can program these buttons just as you program these ones down here. And we'll get into that more in later videos. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, and for more videos, lessons, and Bash Scripts, visit bashscripts.info.